goodness, I tell you, my daddy, he, I tell you, I, I, was, I was in the back there of that church, though, and I was trying to pay attention to the preacher, and the preacher was a preaching, and he was using that question, a rhetorical question that I didn't understand. I was just a little fellow, six, seven years old. He was using that question, what should we do with sin? He sort of sounded like Dr. Criswell, First Baptist Dallas. He's a little Criswellian. He, he was a kind of that old-style preacher who said, what should we do with sin? <laughs> well, I was in the back with my buddies. My mom and dad were sitting up towards the front. I just sort of, I looked around, and you know, you ought to see how y'all look sometimes. <laughs> You know, it, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me in the least when people sleep during my sermons. Just keep your mouth closed. You know what I mean? Just sort of. I just, I mean, just, but. So I looked around. I thought, man, an adult ought to help this man. I mean, one of his own kind ought to come through for him. You know what I mean? No one did. I felt for the man. My heart went out to him. I didn't want to say anything out loud. It wasn't my culture to speak out loud in that particular church, so I just stood up and gestured to him, lip synced, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> but he, he's not paying attention to me, you know what I mean? I'm just a little fella in the back. He just keeps right on. And we preachers usually repeat ourselves two or three times. Have you ever noticed that over in the ministry? That's why we never get through till about 12.05 on Sunday. <laughs> it's just part of our call. It's part of the call of God in our life. Sure enough, second time, he sort of cried it out. What should we do with sin? Sin. 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 Once again, my little heart, I stood up this time. I, I didn't speak out loud, but I gestured again with greater gesture. We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Only God knows. Don't ask us, ask him. You know what I mean? It was just, my man, I was, get, I, was, I was trying to help the man. I said to myself, if he asked that, one more time. <laughs> I am going to answer him in the voice of Don Knotts, old Barney Fife on the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> I said, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I felt led to do. I, you know, when you got that little attention deficit disorder, <laughs> your mind thinks about a hundred things. And that just sort of came to me and went, that is it. I will help this man. I will give him an answer. My parents won't know it's me. Ooh. You know what's coming, don't you? It's coming. <laughs> but you know, when you are got that problem as a little fella, you, you think you're right on target, you know? <laughs> Your heart's pure. <laughs> and they shall see God, and sometimes more quickly, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I said, I'm going to answer in the voice of Don Knotts, or Barney Fife. If he does it again, I'll help him. I'll know him know about me. Everything will be happy. Sure enough, third time, he started whispering it. You know how we do as preachers. What should we do with sin? With sin? Sin. What should we do? I stood up. And in the voice of Don Knotts, I said, Nip it in the bar! <laughs> We had people almost go charismatic, you know what I mean? <laughs> we had senior adult ladies going, oh, oh. I mean, they could have died right there going on the globe. <laughs> Next thing I knew, in the twinkling of an eye, I don't even know how, I, I don't remember the trip. I don't know, I don't remember someone getting. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I was sitting there between Floyd Leon and Pauline Burnett. <laughs> There was my daddy, there was my mama. How I got there, I don't know, but I was there. <laughs> Your mind works that way.